Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and I have another Christmas card for you guys today using the Merry Cafe stamp set. This is in our holiday catalog. This coordinates with the coffee cup framelits from one of our favorite sets, right? I love that one as well. Um, we are also going to be using the Polka Dot Basics uh, embossing folder for this project and we're using Memento Real Red and Garden Green ink. So let's go ahead and get started. We are using a piece of Thick Whisper White for our card base. This can be found in our annual catalog. You will notice that this has a much heavier um, weight to it than our regular Whisper White, so it's perfect for card bases. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Real Red cardstock that is cut four by five and a quarter. And I have a piece of regular Whisper White that is three and a quarter by four. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, we're going to stamp a few images and then we're going to bring in our big shot and do that as well. So I have a piece, a scrap piece of Real Red here. I have my um, coffee cup outline. Whoa, I almost got my finger in that ink. I'm going to ink this up with my Memento Black. We are going to stamp that here. Looks good. I have um, a scrap of Whisper White. We are going to do our coffee cup lid as well in that Memento Black. This card has a little bit um, more steps as far as stamping and cutting, but it's definitely worth it. It's super cute. Okay, um, let's see. I think that's actually it for now. So let's grab our Big Shot. Now I have the magnetic platform in my Big Shot, so we'll start with the die cutting first. And then we can go ahead and um, emboss. So let me grab my die. We will lay that right oops right over there we go grab my other cutting plate and let's run this through okay we'll set that aside we will do our lid to our cup Sometimes you just have to maneuver. Since my plates are well loved, sometimes with the magnetic platform, it has a mind of its own. There we go. Let me see here. There. All right, let's run that through. If that happens to you, you can also use a little piece of washi tape if you don't want to mess around with it. Okay, we are going to cut this little oval tag in Whisper White. We are going to stamp that, but right now we can go ahead and just cut it out. Okay, we'll set that aside. And then we're going to use the little corrugated um, warmer for the cup, and we're going to do that in the garden green. Okay. Whoops, I just hit that. I think it's getting a little too late for me to be recording. I've been a busy girl today. Okay. Let's pop that off. All right. Now we will go ahead and emboss. So we're going to switch platforms. We're going to get our regular Big Shot platform that comes with your Big Shot. We're going to put down one of those plates. I'm going to grab my polka dot embossing folder with my piece of real red cardstock. I just want to put that in there, make sure it's straight. I'll put my other cutting plate on and we'll run this through. And 
and now we can go ahead and do some stamping. So let's set this big shot aside. Okay. So why don't we start with this little um, oval tag. We're going to open up our real red. We're going to use one of the snowflake images from this set. And we are going to stamp that right in the center. Fortunately, my real red and my um, garden green are pretty juicy. So I'm not getting the crispest, uh, crisp image all the time. I just haven't taken the time to spread out my ink a bit. Alright, so we are going to line up our garden green piece there. I'm going to grab my multi-purpose fine or multi-purpose glue. I almost said fine tip glue. That would work as well. And I just want to put a little bead of that. I'm going to grab my lid. And we are going to just make sure we're on there straight. That looks good. I'm going to add some fast fuse to the back of this tag when I can get my, my grip on it. There we go. We're going to set that right in the center of our cup. Let me lift this up. I'm, I think it's a little too late for me. I'm finding out. Okay. All right. So, with that piece of Whisper White, that is the three and a quarter by four, I'm going to kind of just lay my cup there on an angle. For some reason, every time I use this stamp set, I tend to turn my cup a little bit. I must just, for some reason, feel the need that it has to be that way. All right, we're going to go ahead now and stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to open up the garden green and the real red. I'm going to start with the word Christmas. And we are going to stamp that about there. I want to leave myself enough room to get the little piece of holly above it. And I want to add some ribbon here too, remember. So I'm going to do the cheer now. Oh, let me make sure I got ink. Yeah, it's a little, like I said, very juicy. Okay, we're going to stamp the cheer right underneath the Christmas. Okay. And then there is another stamp that says, and a Happy New Year. So I'm going to switch out my stamp here. Let me make sure. We're going to do that in the garden green. And that's going to go right be below the chair. Okay. Looks good. All right. Now we're going to take the little bit of holly and those leaves. They're very tiny, so be sure you don't lose them on your workstation. I'm going to start with the leaf. It's literally so cute. It's so small. In the garden green. And I'm going to stamp one that way and one that way. I'm sticking that right back on to my stamp set so I don't lose it. Ink up those berries and we're going to put those right there. Okay? Alright, so we are making great progress here. Close up my ink pads because I think I'll put my hand in them. Now I have some garden green satin ribbon and I want to tie a knot in this. So I'm going to put this through. I'm going to pull myself a little knot. You can see I'm kind of sticking towards this loose end. Okay. And you can mess with this if you want. Um, I am going to put that right below my sentiment. So I'm going to cut. Let me grab my scissors. I'm going to cut this about there. I'm going to use the cheater method. Since it is very late, I don't want to mess this up right at the last minute. I'm going to 
lay that there and I'm going to pull this behind. Up, oh, see? Okay, I'm going to put my scotch tape right over that. Make sure that I'm nice and straight. And then we're going to go ahead and use another piece of scotch tape. Okay, now we can use our fast fuse. I think I'm going to add a little right over this tape here. Oh, my fast fuse just ran out. All right, we're going to set that aside. We're going to bring in our card base here. Because this real red is completely embossed, I'm going to put fast fuse around all four corners because you do not want it to lift. I'm going to do a little in the middle. That one's ready to lay down. Okay, so we are going to lay that on our card. We're going to grab our piece. We're going to center this right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to add some fast fuse to our mug. We are about done. You could pop this up with dimensionals. That would be cute too. I'm just going to lay it flush. We're going to give our card a nice crease. With this thick um, whisper white, you definitely want to score it well when you're doing your card base and give it a nice, nice crease. Okay, so that completes our card. And as you guys know with my envelopes, I like to decorate those too. So I just used that same snowflake and stamped it a few more times in the lower left corner. And we are ready to go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's project. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, to purchase any of today's products, just head on over to the description of this video for a full supply list. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.